The bear, belonging to the family Ursidae, comprises eight species of sizable, short-tailed carnivores distributed across the Americas, Europe, and Asia. Among them, the sun bear, Helarctus malayanus, holds the title of the smallest, frequently tipping the scales at less than 50 kg or 110 pounds. When it comes to the largest bear, it's a contest between the Kodiak bear, Ursus arctos middendorfi, a subspecies of the Alaskan brown bear, also known as the grizzly bear, and the polar bear, Ursus maritimus. The victor depends on the specific measurements considered. In any case, these formidable bears can reach weights of up to 720 kg and 600 pounds. The black bear, Ursus americanus, is notably prevalent in certain regions of the United States and Canada. Bears exhibit omnivorous tendencies, with their dietary choices varying widely, from seals for the primarily carnivorous polar bear to a mix of vegetation for the largely herbivorous spectacled bear, Tremarctos ornatus. The giant panda, Aelurapoda melanoleuca, on the other hand, exclusively consumes bamboo. Prior to winter, bears typically accumulate extra weight, and while they experience restless sleep during this season, they don't enter a true hibernation. Despite their considerable size, bears are adept climbers and proficient swimmers. Natural history. Bears are primarily inhabitants of northern temperate areas and have a more extensive distribution to the north than any other mammal. While the Arctic fox reaches similar latitudes on land, the polar bear commonly traverses sea ice hundreds of kilometers away from the coast. Bears are absent in Africa and Australia. The spectacled bear, residing in South America's Andes Mountains, stands as the sole bear species living south of the equator. Despite their seemingly clumsy appearance, bears exhibit surprising agility, capable of moving swiftly, especially through thick vegetation that would significantly hinder a human or a horse. While their sense of smell is a dominant factor in their hunting abilities, their sight and hearing are relatively underdeveloped. Certain bear species, such as black bears and spectacled bears, demonstrate proficiency in climbing, and all bears showcase strong swimming skills, with polar bears being particularly noteworthy in this regard. Communication among bears typically doesn't rely on sound, and they generally maintain a quiet demeanor. However, growling may occur during feeding, when faced with a challenge from another bear or humans, or when competing for mates, apart from the polar bear, which is carnivorous, and the giant panda, which is herbivorous, Ursids, bears in general, are omnivores, consuming a diverse range of items despite their large size. They eat ants, bees, tree seeds, roots, nuts, berries, insect larvae like grubs, and even delicate plants such as the dogtooth violet. Many bears have a preference for honey, with the sun bear often referred to as the honey bear due to its fondness for honey. Bears also hunt various prey, including rodents, fish, deer, pigs, and seals. Grizzlies, a North American subspecies of the brown bear, are particularly skilled at fishing during salmon spawning runs. The polar bear's diet is influenced by the Arctic environment, where vegetation is scarce. The Asian sloth bear has a penchant for raiding and destroying termite nests. Using its unique four-foot bone formation, functioning like a sixth digit to handle bamboo effectively. While bears, such as the American and Asiatic black bears, Ursus americanus and U. thibetanus, consume substantial amounts of food before entering a den for an extended period of winter rest. It's important to note that they don't exhibit true hibernation. Unlike animals that truly hibernate, bears lack certain physiological characteristics such as a significantly lower heart rate, body temperature, breathing rate, and blood pressure. The polar bear, for example, creates a den in the snow, while grizzlies construct large mounds of dirt in front of their dens as part of their winter denning behavior. This unique pattern of dormancy in bears distinguishes them from species that undergo genuine hibernation. Male polar bears occasionally gather, but generally bears are solitary animals, except during the mating season when they tend to come together, form pairs, and mate in private. After mating, the male departs from the female and does not participate in raising the offspring. Cruel. The gestation periods vary with the fertilized egg undergoing delayed implantation in the uterus. This mechanism ensures that the cubs are born while the female is in the winter den and guarantees that they emerge in spring when food is plentiful. Bears typically breed once a year and some may only breed every two to four years. The breeding season usually occurs in late spring or early summer resulting in most births happening in January or February due to delayed implantation. 
Newborn bears weigh around half a kilogram, one pound, and measure approximately 23 cm, nine inches, from nose to tail tip. While twins are common, bears can give birth to up to five young. Cubs nurse for a few months and stay with the female until the next breeding cycle, which takes place about a year and a half or more after birth. Most young bears, however, become independent around six months of age. Bears reach breeding maturity between three and a half to six years of age, with males usually maturing later than females. In the wild, bears have a lifespan ranging from 15 to 30 years, while those in captivity can live considerably longer. Due to their substantial size, bears face limited threats from natural predators in their native habitats. The primary cause of mortality is human hunting. Occasionally, bears unable to amass sufficient fat reserves for winter may succumb to starvation. Young bears, being smaller, are more susceptible to predation, primarily from other carnivores like wolves or cougars, and notably from other bears, especially males. This vulnerability prompts heightened protective behavior from mother bears with cubs, particularly in the presence of male bears. The size of home ranges that individual bears inhabit is influenced by the availability of food, with larger areas utilized when food is scarce. The extent of these ranges exhibits considerable variability across different geographic regions and seasons. American black bears, for instance, may wander through areas ranging from 40 to 200 square km, 15 to 77 square miles, while grizzlies cover approximately 300 to 700 square km, 115 to 270 square miles. In contrast, certain polar bears traverse expansive ranges exceeding 125,000 square km, 48,000 square miles, Importance to humans. If captured at a young age, bears can be domesticated relatively effortlessly, and they were frequently employed in circus performances with animals in the past. This tradition often led individuals to perceive bears as docile and harmless, rather than as potentially hazardous beings warranting caution and respect. This misunderstanding has frequently resulted in unfortunate incidents for both humans and bears. While grizzly and polar bears pose the greatest threat, Eurasian brown bears and American black bears have also been documented attacking humans. Some species occasionally prey on livestock, and certain bears, like Asiatic and American black bears, may cause damage to fruits or other crops, particularly corn. Bear pelts have served various purposes throughout history. Among the most prevalent uses is the creation of bearskin rugs, a popular choice. Additionally, bearskins have been fashioned into stylish clothing items, the meat of black and polar bears is frequently consumed. Among Native American communities, bear teeth and claws are cherished as ornaments, while bear fat, known as bear grease, is utilized in cooking. In Asia, gall bladders from Asian bears hold significant value for pharmaceutical applications. Form and function. In most species, the male typically exhibits a larger size compared to the female. Unlike felines and canids, such as dogs and wolves, Bears walk using a plantigrade gait where they place the soles of their feet on the ground with the heels touching. Each foot features five digits, ending in large, non-retractable claws, which are occasionally specialized for digging, as seen in the Asian sloth bear. The claws on the front paws are generally more developed than those on the hind paws, particularly adapted for excavating small rodents or extracting nutritious plant roots. While the soles of their feet are typically hairless, the polar bear's soles are covered with hair, providing traction on icy surfaces. Bears lack a clavicle but possess a baculum, penis bone. Their lips are protrusible and mobile, and all species have a short, stubby tail. Bears possess a long skull, particularly weighty in the rear, with powerful muscles controlling their hinged jaws. The teeth of omnivorous bears lack specialization. Typically, the first three premolars are either absent or exceptionally small. Apart from variations in premolar presence, the dental formula of ursids aligns with that of the carnivora group. Though the sloth bear differs by lacking one pair of upper incisors, the shearing teeth, carnassials, show limited development, and the molars feature broad, flat crowns. Conservation status. The International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources categorizes most bear species as vulnerable, with only the American black bear and the brown bear considered species of least concern. The remaining six bear species face significant threats due to human activities, including hunting for various purposes and the substantial reduction of their habitats to a fraction of their historical range. Some species, like Asiatic black bears and sun bears, are specifically targeted by poachers seeking gallbladders and other body parts, often traded in wildlife markets. Additionally, 
Live Asiatic black bears are captured for the pet trade and circus performances. Bears such as sloth bears and spectacled bears are at risk due to direct attacks on humans or conflicts arising from interactions with people over crops and livestock. Evolution and classification. The bear family represents the most recently evolved group of carnivores. Its ancestral lineage is believed to have split from canid stock during the late Miocene epoch, 23 million to 5.3 million years ago. And the development into modern species likely occurred through Pliocene, 5.3 million to 2.6 million years ago. Forms like Hyanarctos found in Europe, Asia and North America. Mitochondrial DNA, mtDNA studies conducted in the early 21st century indicate that black bears, brown bears and polar bears diverged from each other approximately 4 to 5 million years ago, early in the Pliocene epoch. Further genetic evidence suggests extensive interbreeding between polar bears and brown bears as recent as 100,000 years ago, with nearly 10% of the genomes of contemporary brown bears having a traceable connection to polar bears. The classification of bears sparked considerable debate. Mammalogists had varying opinions, suggesting placement within the bear family, Ursidae, raccoon family, Procyonidae, or alongside the red or lesser panda, Ellurus fulgens in Alluridae. Nevertheless, molecular analyses conducted in the 1990s brought to light a strong evolutionary connection between giant pandas and bears. Top questions. Thold, how many species of bears are there? There are eight species of bears, the American black bear, the Asiatic black bear, the brown bear, the giant panda, the polar bear, the sloth bear, the spectacled bear, and the sun bear. Two, what do bears eat? Bears are generally omnivorous, but dietary preferences range from seals for the entirely carnivorous polar bear, Ursus maritimus, to assorted vegetation for the largely herbivorous spectacled bear, Tremarctos ornatus, the giant panda, Iluropoda melanoleuca eats only bamboo. Which type of bear is the largest? The largest bear is either the Kodiak bear, a subspecies of Alaskan brown bear, or the polar bear, depending upon which measurements are considered. Either of these bears can weigh up to 720 kilograms, one 600 pounds. For how long do bears live? The longevity of bears in the wild ranges from 15 to 30 years. In captivity, they can live considerably longer. In conclusion, Bears are truly remarkable creatures that captivate us with their diverse species and fascinating behaviors. From the mighty grizzly to the elusive panda, each bear species contributes to the rich tapestry of our planet's biodiversity. Their adaptability, intelligence, and roles in ecosystems underscore the importance of conservation efforts to ensure their survival. As we marvel at their strength and resilience, let's also embrace our responsibility to protect these incredible animals and the environments they call home. If you found this journey into the world of bears as fascinating as we did, show some love. Give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss our animal-packed content. Share your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear your favorite bear quirks. And don't forget to share this video with fellow bear enthusiasts. Together, let's create a giant wave of bear love across the internet. Remember to stay safe and responsible. Till next time, be curious.